this is the same solar panel that are used in the four villages in Brazil, um, thanks to the German RWE Corporation and the German government, which donated them. They also gave me two extra ones, one of which I'm using in my apartment to power about 80% of the things I need to use, so I can also have the same amount of power as the villagers and live the same way, in a sense, energy-wise as they do, so I can figure out new solutions to their energy problems and ways to get um, through the Lutheran Church, help to them, and supply them with the best material through my experience using the same energy in my small apartment as they use in their huts in the villages. Thanks to a kind donation from the RWE Corporation, I also acquired two of the solar panels, the same as the ones used in the four villages in Brazil. Um, I'm using one exactly the same as in the Brazilian villages to power 80% of the things I use in my apartment. This way, I, through the experience I gain from using the same energy as they do, I can uh, try to refine and find better ways to acquire spare parts and better parts from my own experience for them in Brazil through the help of the Lutheran Church. Um, the solar panels, as you can see, are designed for hot weather, so they're good in all climates. Some solar panels are only good in uh, colder climates, not these. These come with a 20-year guarantee, so that's something, there's no moving parts, nothing that can break, so that's why they use them on uh, satellites, and that's why in remote mountain villages they're better than, let's say, wind power, because there's not as many spare parts that can break. It's my dream through my experience here to try to acquire better lighting for them in Brazil through LED which would use a fraction of the energy and would not have a maintenance issue. So it would be the same as the panel, no moving parts and nothing to break. The fluorescent bulbs have small inverters that burn out on them and that uh, can be quite a problem. So uh, through this experience I hope to help benefit the villagers in the four village projects in Brazil. The battery for storing the power from the panels and the charge regulator which makes sure that the uh, battery is not overcharged during the day when it's uh, charging or that you don't draw too much energy at night when you're running uh, appliances off the battery. Also here we have the inverter which changes the 12 volt power into 110 AC-DC for charging uh, the um, laptop computer and the cell phone uh, for running the television and uh, also for uh, running the VCR and other appliances and I have a small inverter it's only up to 400 watts but that's uh, enough for most of the things I need to do here and what it is is this system is the same system as the villagers are using in the four villages in Brazil it's one battery, Those are, theirs is a slightly larger battery, a charge regulator, and the 150 watt panel. They don't have inverters, only one of the families has an inverter. And I'm using this experience of uh, living with the power that the villagers use so that I can make uh, their life a little easier down there by figuring out ways of things that I can uh, bring down to them that will make their projects better in Brazil. Like, I hope to get every family a small, inexpensive inverter on Brazilian uh, wattage and also on voltage. And I'd also like to get them uh, uh, different lights that I discovered because of making my own system off the same power. So, by using the same energy, I hope to maximize the projects in Brazil by the, my experience with the solar energy here. So not only is it fun to use the solar here, but it's also a, a way to improve the projects in Brazil. Here every uh, morning when I get up and I see the villagers' pictures on my wall and I think about them in Brazil and me using the same solar as they have and it inspires me to uh, try to get more aid and support for my friends in Brazil and I um, hope someday I can see them again.